stroke off. Five yeah. I don't know if I'd want to run at a stroke five day. You know, you might just keel over. And <laughs> You have to come up, you have to come up with a better name, James. It's like, hmm. I got five. I got five. Code order board of works for March eighth. Need approval of the February twenty second minutes. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The department head reports prior to is on vacation, so we'll go to uh, city inspection. And where is he? Strike two. Where is Brad? The vacation? No, <laughs> he was just back here. Oh. oh. Well, we'll go to animal shelter. You're going to be first, the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> a, you think A would be first, right? I animal know, shelter. you'd think. Lee of Antland, Vincent's Animal Shelter. Um, I have statistics for the month of February. Uh, we took in a total of six cats in February. We adopted out five cats in February. Um, our dog intake for the month of February was 41. Of those, 20 were from the county. Um, we, uh, we took in 20 dogs as strays and 10 were owner surrenders. Um, our total uh, dog adoptions for the month of February was 14. We returned 10 dogs to their owners and we sent four dogs off to rescue. Our total um, adopted animals for February was 19. We, uh, our current on-site population right now is 17 of those. Eight um, are adoptable dogs and we have five dogs in our five day hold um, two cats in five day hold, and we also have um, two dogs being held on a bite hold. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Leah. No old business. We'll move to new business. First up is the way of the cross. Trevor Murray. And you should have the information in your packet. Mm -hmm. Trevor Murray, uh, representing Ministerial Association. The new date for this year will be April 2nd at noon. And uh, I've talked to Dr. Stewart about his opinion about holding this event. And we had, meet, we had met as a, a, an association to discuss some different possibilities of how to minimize and to allow for social distancing. And so uh, we have a plan on how to do that, to break up the big group into smaller groups, or do you have the speakers at each individual station? Um, so that way there would be smaller groups and less need for, um, vocal equipment and um, also just able to social distance better. Mm -hmm. And uh, we may do a few other changes too, like carrying pieces of the cross that could be assembled after every group has come together um, as a way to still carry a piece of it and be able to still have a cross at the end. So uh, Dr. Stewart said that all sounded fine to him and uh, he was uh, okay with us giving a shot and also very much in approval of us trying to get things back to normal, especially when it comes to these kind of celebrations for our right. city. Right. Okay. The same route as always. So. Same yeah. route. Same route. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, citywide way of the cross as presented by Reverend Murray. I'll second the motion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Trevor. Next is German Fest Banner. Uh, this Christian Education Foundation. They couldn't be here. But, and you don't have insurance yet? It, their current policy expires on oh. August 1st, so it's going to be a little bit closer to the time before we're okay. going to renew it. So oh, okay. We'll so. have that on our calendar to make sure we've got it. Okay. So uh, we'll make a motion to approve the uh, German Fest banner request uh, for uh, the event is August 13th and 14th at Highland Woods. Uh, the request is for one banner to be hung on Hart Street for two weeks beginning August the 2nd. I'll second the motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Next up is GSH Stroke Department 5K, Jane Marshall. And this says Be Fast 5K. Yes. <laughs> but fast is an acronym for stroke, right? I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jane Russell, and I'm representing the Good Samaritan Stroke Department. You're, you're on the record, Jane. You know that's it. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Um, 
we are we want to put a 5k on and do, uh, donate the pro or use the proceeds to um, give to patients stroke patients who um, to help them pay for things that their insurance won't pay for mm -hmm. like there's certain DME things that they won't pay for like if you get a wheelchair and it doesn't work for you then you don't get another wheelchair you just have to live with the one that you got so those kinds of things we also have found that cardiac rehab helps stroke patients um, recover faster but insurance won't pay for that either so those are the kinds of things that the money will go for it's going to be the old run for a nurse route we've done that route several times the hospital right. has we've approved that a few times i have a magnet on my refrigerator jane that talks about fast which is facial drooping arm weakness speech difficulty and tongue i'll remember that one <laughs> <laughs> that's critical that's important i will make a motion that we approve the be fast 5k to be held on october 30th 2021 and Chief, have you, uh, some of this is going to be in the city, some of it's going to be in the yeah. county. Yeah. It's what? And this is, uh, you probably have been, been in the past, this is the same as the Nurses Day 5K for Nurses Week. Okay. So, all right. So my motion is to approve the route. You, you're not asking for banner or anything else, just the route, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Approval of the route. Uh, beginning at 8 o'clock on uh, October 30th. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Good luck. Thanks, Jeremy. Next is Riverfront Pavilion Rental, Lincoln High School. Mr. Saunders. Wearing a different hat. Yeah. Today. Wearing no hat. No hat at all. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're requesting the pavilion for May 8th for prom um, and kind of our commitment to try to get as many events. Uh, back to our students, we're going to try to do as many things basically outside in the safest environment possible. Uh, we'll need it the whole day, May 8th. We'll just set up that day. I did have some discussions with the mayor. We thought about possibly setting some stuff up. The kids were anxious and wanted to get there. We advised them it probably wasn't the best idea to leave anything out the night before. Uh, the event will happen 7 to 11, but we'll need the bus run, that bus run chunk that's right by it, and then the back of First Street shut off, and we'll cone that off. We've got our school resource officers. That'll be there for that. Um, I sent um, kind of our rules that Dr. Stewart has already approved and went over uh, for us. Basically kind of think of it, we call them our restaurant rules. Um, if you're in with a group of people, the kids are masked up, the teachers are masked up. Um, if they're sitting, drinking, um, or eating anything, then um, they can have their mask off. I mean, these are the same rules that we go through every day in the BCSC, so there shouldn't be an issue or a problem. Um, we are kind of curious to see how it goes because maybe this could become kind of a popular thing. We start to see more of this moving forward. Uh, but obviously with this year, with COVID being the case, we wanted to make sure we had the safest environment for our students while still being able to provide events like this. And just so you know, the word's already out because I know the school's already called. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, and just, and this is, this is Lincoln only. I wanted to make sure we emphasize yeah. that because I know We've got to kind of keep limitations on things like that. Usually in past, you invited other, you can invite other ones. We're trying to keep it as low uh, key as possible, but obviously we want to make sure that we have a problem this year because the kids did miss out last year. Yeah. So, so small, interesting story. Fit more than 50 years ago. Is it a small uh, story? I, it's a very small okay. story. I was, I was the chairman of the outdoor prom for Central Catholic and St. Rose. We were going to have in the old cathedral courtyard we built a gazebo and we we're gonna do it all outside and it rained for like <laughs> two straight days and we had to move into the gym that's the that's the end of the story so i will on that motion note i will make a motion to approve the use of the pavilion as described by mr salters um on may the 8th that would be event actually taking place 7 to 11 uh but needing more time to set up and break down i'll second the motion Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Thank Good you. Thank you. With that. That's great. Mm -hmm. The next two items are in dot LPA right away agreements. City engineer. These are right of way services agreements between the city of Vincennes and NDOT. Um, last week, the last couple meetings, we signed uh, agreements with city of Vincennes and our consultants. Uh, so these are agreements with NDOT. Um, one is for Washington Avenue, one is for Main Street Phase 2. Okay, 
So this, th there's no cost involved in correct this yeah. at this point, right? Okay. This is all yeah. right. This is right. Okay, I will make a motion that we approve the right-of-way agreements numbered one and two as described by City Engineer John Sprague. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And these are uh, end out of switching to electronic signatures so you guys don't have to sign anything. The mayor will get a link sent tomorrow okay. and he will set up electronic signature for that. Great. Okay. Thank you. Brad's here. Do you want to? Brad is next. Last but not least, we're in shorts. 66 degrees. <laughs> new, new inspector's office attire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the month of February, building permits. We issued 15, demolition 3, dumpster 2, heating and air 4. We had one HRB uh, application, one BZA application. We had 86 rentals. Uh, re-registered uh, for electrical licenses. Violations, we sent out uh, 29 junk and debris, uh, 20 trash and one dangerous structure for a revenue of 84.85 for the month. Okay, That's fine. okay we'll go to miscellaneous. If nothing, we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. We are adjourned. Sounds good. Thanks, Rex. Can you fall off that RV? What's that? Can you fall off that RV? Rex, this didn't happen. <laughs> that RV, yes. All this exciting stuff. Not yet. Nobody report on it. They're coming out of the radio <laughs> show tomorrow, so they're going to be pressing. So cool.